Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my Walt Disney World haul for you guys. I put out a poll in my Insta stories and asked what you would like to see today and that is the video that won the poll, giving you what you asked for. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, it is at Rose Keats. Of interest, let me know just because I've been looking for a lot of feedback and stuff in my stories on Instagram recently, which has been super helpful. Thank you so much to everybody who has interacted with that, answered my questions, voted in my polls. It's really just a great way for me to find out what's working for you guys and to try and create the content that you want to see and be led by you in that respect. I'm really enjoying that. I know there's the community tab here on YouTube but I don't really use it but let me know if you are more on YouTube than on Instagram. Like do you interact with the community tab? Are you interested in that or do you get your chat from people on other platforms? So like whether it's Twitter or Instagram. I know for me I tend to watch people's videos on YouTube but I expect to interact with them on Instagram. But yeah, obviously the whole point in finding out things is to find out from you what you're doing rather than just presuming that everyone does what I do. So do let me know if you're active on community pages on YouTube and if you are I will start trying to use mine a little bit more. But anyway, waffle aside, let's get into the meat of the video. First things first, I just want to say I didn't buy anything like as much as I usually buy. I was on holiday with my parents. They have a much lower tolerance of time for spending in shops than I do. I did have to be quite snappy. There were three things in particular that I didn't get that I regret and need to make sure I go back for next time but probably the more often you go the less merchandise you buy each time so this is not by any means my biggest Walt Disney World haul like the first time we went it was just like everywhere that I looked there was something else I wanted to buy so I do feel this is a lot more refined which is hopefully in keeping with the direction that I'm generally trying to take my channel down which is a bit more about obviously I'm doing my spending plan and trying to promote more sort of conscious consumerism so yeah I'm quite happy actually that I didn't buy as much and I do think one of the issues that I need to deal with in myself is that I have quite a spending problem when I'm like a fan of something and I think I need to really get it into my head that you're not less of a fan or you don't love something less because you haven't bought every piece of merchandise with that thing on it. But anyway, yeah, that's all chat for a different video as well. So now I'll actually get into what I bought. Last time I did my Walt Disney World haul and then I did a separate pin haul. That's what I'm going to do this time as well. So this is more like just general merchandise and I will have a separate Walt Disney World pin haul coming soon. First thing I got is actually some soap. I got this from the shop in the Grand Floridian but I do think they've got one at Disney Springs as well so it's the it's called Basin. I don't know if it's supposed to be like French and be like Basin um but Basin basically is what it's called. Got this soap it just says Mickey on it. There was various different types. This was the kind of minty one that I thought was nice and fresh so if you guys can see that it's in cute packaging and then it's quite like the Lush soap so um, it gets weighed, you pay by weight, so this lot was six twenty nine. We were there over at St Patrick's Day and this was, as you can see, it's this kind of St Patrick's Day design. So it's got shamrock in the middle and then just Mickey heads. My reason for picking this was really the smell. It is so minty, so fresh. That's why I, I love sort of minty, fresh scents. A little bit of Disney for my bathroom. As always, I got a couple of notebooks. I bought a few the last time in that VHS theme of notebooks that they've got and they had expanded that range when I got there this time. So I got these two, two of my favourite films, Peter Pan and Lady and the Tramps. The notebooks that are meant to look like 90s or, well, generally before the 90s, but to me, like 90s VHS tapes that I had as a child. So yeah, they've got the designs in the front and then on the back as well. It's like the back of the VHS tapes, so kind of blurb and like the runtime and things like that. Then on the inside, they've got the VHS tapes. And then so the Lady and the Tramp one on the inside is squares on this page and then lines on this page with Lady at the bottom. The Peter Pan one, again, you've got the VHS tape on the front page. And then again, squares in this page and lines in this page with the crocodile. Obviously, I've not written in any of these, but my kind of thought process is that when I move out, like all these notebooks would look lovely, like grouped together on a shelf for something to be displayed. That's sort of my thought process. A few years away from moving out yet, but it's it's there for when I have my own house. Sorry, I forgot to say these were $15.99 each. The next notebook I got is this one, which is absolutely beautiful. So this was $17.99. I can't remember the official name for this range of merchandise, but I want to say it's maybe like called the most magical place on earth range or something. It's this beautiful castle design that's got the kind of gold leaf. Then it says most magical place on earth. It's got Walt Disney World on the spine and it's a button closure. So 
it's got gold around the edge of the pages then on the inside this is what the first page design looks like this is what the pages look like so this range of merchandise I think is really beautiful and I do think when I go back I would get more from this specific range. It had really just started coming into the shops literally on like our last couple of days so I didn't see the full range. I just saw a very small group of it. I do think I'd be interested more from this range. I think it's very very pretty. And the last notebook that I will show you in this um, was $17.99. This is obviously Cinderella. Belle, Cinderella, Tiana and Mulan are kind of my my holy ones and the ones that I have the most merchandise are definitely Cinderella and Belle. So yeah, beautiful Cinderella notebook. It's got the most beautiful inside page. This has got illustrations with sort of like these little mice, then Cinderella and the, the slipper with the shoe. So they're kind of quite difficult to pick out almost. You have to sort of really look for them and amongst the pattern, which I really like. And then this is what the pages in these ones look like. So again, lines on both sides but with those nice illustrations in amongst there um, and that is the, the back of the notebook so I really really like that one. I think it's super beautiful, no idea what I'm going to use it for. I feel like my beautiful Disney notebooks need to be used for like something special if they get used at all but I've definitely got too many notebooks so I need to start finding uses for them to keep justifying them. I will go into this bag next. We actually got loads of the little reusable park bags. We kind of used them to give out gifts in, so I, don't, I think we've only actually got one still in our house, but we bought quite a lot of them and I really did like them, but that's why I don't have the usual like loads of carrier bags to pick up and show you, because most of it was getting put in the reusable bags as we went along. Speaking of my favourite princesses, Mulan is one of my favourites. She's not really a princess, that's why I generally tend to not talk about her, because she's not a princess, but she kind of gets put in with that group, you know what I mean. Um, but she's one of my favourite characters. But I get really annoyed when they produce Mulan merchandise and she's in her matchmaker outfit because I just think that's the whole point is that that's not the kind of person she is. But I feel like they have finally started to listen to me and have started to produce things that are not just Mulan in her matchmaker outfit, which I'm really excited about. And in particular, these two pieces of art just I thought were super beautiful so I got the postcards. So these were £4.99 each. I really like art so I am going to do a sort of Disney hints and tips video and again I put up a thing on Instagram so if you get any particular questions leave them below or go to my Instagram and uh, fill them out. I've created a highlight that's called like feedback and it's got all the questions that I was asking in it so you can go fill it out there but one of the questions that I got was what is the most kind of worth it merchandise and I suppose it depends on your definition of worth it but some of my favourite merchandise is the artwork. There is some of it that's obviously not my taste as there is with any kind of artwork but I love visiting the art shops. I really didn't think I could justify any big prints so I got the two postcards. This one I just, I saw this one first and I just fell in love so this is the moment where she actually kind of cuts her hair which is just such a kind of powerful moment in the film with the music going in the background and it's such a dramatic sequence of events. Just like my heart always racing to that even when I was younger watching that. I just thought that was such a powerful image because you know she's cut it on one side, she's cutting it with the sword. I just absolutely love that. In case you're interested this one is by Lilani Joy I think. I'm not 100% sure if that's the correct pronunciation of the first name but um, L-E-I-L-A-N-I -I, I think it's Lilani. Um, but yeah, that's the artist behind this one. This one is by Sydney Hansen and this one, if you guys can see, um, I will do cutaways obviously so you can see them better, is Mulan and she is in her matchmaker outfit with the horse going over the bridge but she's looking and in her reflection she's got herself as Ping, kind of stylised version of herself as Ping with the horse and the sword which I just thought was um, a really really beautiful print. A non Mulan postcard that I got. This one again £4.99. I think all the postcards are kind of the same price. This one is by Bill Robinson. My favourite. I love it. I think it's so impressive in terms of the staging of the quickness of the amount of characters that are in it. I think it's a great one for kids who want to see characters physically because there's loads of actual characters in it on stage rather than like happily ever after where it's obviously very impressive because you've got all the fireworks and the projections but you know it's not like a there's not physical people in it so yeah I love Fantasmic. If you're only going to see one show, the Hollywood Studios nighttime show Fantasmic is 
the one in my opinion and then on I think it was our last night before we left I was at Disney Springs and I really felt like I couldn't justify a big piece of art as I said this is not a big piece of art so like let's not work this up it's not like one of the huge canvases but I just kind of I'm I'm in the process of deciding what to do with my bedroom I was going to be looking at moving out earlier than I kind of am and I was a bit like I'm not going to redecorate if I'm moving out but I think I'll, I'll talk about this in another video because it's boring chat but basically I've decided I'm not I'm going to save up a bit longer before I move out and I am going to try and redecorate my room but I kind of want to do it slightly on a budget because I don't want it to end up being a huge chunk of money that could be going towards my own deposit so anyway I did decide to get a piece of art, is where all this chat is going. So this is one of the prints that comes in at $39.99, so $40, and it is the, the short hair one. That's the official name of it, short hair, that's not just me calling it short hair one. So it's called short hair and it's obviously the Milan print where she's cutting her hair, which I bought the postcard on like one of our first days, thought it was absolutely, like, had one of those moments, I actually spotted this from like across the shop and like walked to it and was like I love this so much but I was a bit like I don't really know what I'm doing if this will suit the way that I want to redecorate my room I still don't 100% know if it will but I think it will if I do what I'm currently kind of planning on and I was just like I can't I can't do it and then I saw the postcards so I got the postcards towards the end of the holiday I just kind of went no I'm having it very very pleased with it because even if it ends up not working in my plans for my bedroom at home when I move out I'll obviously have it to start with and I will, if it comes to it, I will theme a room around my Mulan prints. Not a problem. So on to kind of clothing and accessories. Obviously I had to get the rose gold Disney ears so I think these were $27.99. Rose gold sequins and then just a rose gold bowl. I need to actually cut the, the label off of this. But yeah, that's them. I thought these were super cute. My gran was totally judging me. Obviously I went with my classic ears already and I have my Star Wars ears and she was like, do you really need more ears? And I was like, you're not a Disney person, you don't get this. So yes, I did need them, is the, the long and short answer. You've already seen these if you follow me on Instagram, but basic Disney girl. I bought sunglasses right before we went on holiday and went out the first day and forgot to, to take them and so I ended up buying these which are quite oversized Disney sunglasses more out of necessity than choice but it is what it is they're fun, they're glittery, they have the castle on the leg I'll do some close-ups so you guys can see it better I'm not sure how much these were, I feel like they were quite expensive but like I was stuck on a really sunny day and could barely see and had to get them basically. I didn't get my Disney 2019 hoodie. That is the three things that I was kind of thinking that I'm like, I really wish I'd got. There was a Christmas ornament with the rescuers that I literally unscrammed on like the first day, but I didn't want to buy it and carry it about with me in case I broke it. I don't know why I didn't just get it and get it sent back to the hotel. You live and learn. And I didn't get my 2019 hoodie, which I always get like a year that I've gone piece of clothing, which I didn't. I did get pins, but I didn't get the hoodie and the third thing that I didn't get is a plush. I always get a plush and I've got a Hawaiian stitch that I didn't get the Hawaiian Angel in the UK Disney store before it went away and they had it at Disney World and I meant to get it but my grand was judging me and I was waiting until she wasn't there to get it and I just didn't get the opportunity to but fingers crossed it'll still be there when I go back but the apparel that I did get first of all I got this hoodie I really like this actually it, it was kind of again a sort of necessity buy the night we went to the Polynesian to watch the spirit of aloha dinner show it was actually really cold and I didn't have a zipper or a cardigan so I had to make a choice from what was in the hotel gift shop which I'd seen this and I'd really liked it anyway so this wasn't like I would have probably bought this one way or the other it looks like it's kind of cropped but because I'm so short it's just normal in me the other ones are always really long and it's kind of vintage style so it's got 71 because obviously that was the gear that it opened and then just Walt Disney World and Mickey with the castle and it's plain on the back super soft snuggly really happy but I got it and I'm really glad I filmed it because now I can start wearing it second piece of apparel that I got is this which I just loved so it's a t-shirt obviously a sort of Disney bounding t-shirt with Donald Duck so it's got his bow and his little buttons on it I thought this would be really cute if I could get a big sort of white circle skirt and some yellow shoes and do a Disney bound as Donald. Maybe not the next time I go just because I've got quite a few specific outfits already in mind for that and I, I will talk about that trip more in a trip announcement video but definitely at some point 
going to do at Donald's Disney Bound. Sorry, I've not been seeing the prices. This was $34.99. This, oh, I've worn this, so I've taken the tag off it, but let's go with around the $60 mark generally is what hoodies are. Then this one was $39.99. I got everything in a medium, by the way, just in case anyone's wondering. I would say I'm a sort of UK 12 to 14, so this is the other top that I got. So obviously I had to get Flippin' Garden Festival merchandise. I got this. It's a baseball style t-shirt, which is very up my street. I have quite a lot of these and I do wear them generally quite often. <laughs> I liked because I'm quite a sucker for a pun. It says, turn up the fun. You see what they did there, guys? Yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm into it. The Mickey and Friends Seed Co design and then it just says 2019 Echo International Flower and Garden Festival. Plain on the back. I think this is actually supposed to be a guy's one but I don't really care. I love it. I thought it was super cute and this is like one of my favourite colours to wear so good colour choice Disney. Well done to the Epcot merchandise team. Next thing I'll talk about is actually what I'm wearing just now. So this is a navy t-shirt. It's from Uniqlo. Um, at Disney Springs and it's just a plain navy t-shirt. It's got this little pocket detailing which can't really see because of my hair but pocket detailing with Belle on it obviously because Belle's one of my favourites. The other t-shirt that I got from Uniqlo, these were $14.90 so a lot cheaper than the actual Disney t-shirts. I think they were the same price. And the other one I got is this one which is navy and white striped one and then it's got this little detail here which says he always makes you smile, Mickey Mouse. Thought well, that was just super cute. And again, like with the unique little ones in particular, they're quite subtle. So if you're looking for something you can buy that you can kind of wear day to day at home and it's not gonna be like super Disney, I would wear this at home. That wouldn't bother me because it looks kind of vintage. It's kind of a thing. Whereas like, I wouldn't wear this at home. This is too Disney park for me. So obviously it's all down to what you're kind of comfortable with but like I would definitely wear these outside of the parks and I think you know if you're looking for something that's a little bit more subtle but still Disney the unique glow stuff is definitely a good way to go. The two last things I'm going to show you are things that I got at Disney but they're not like Disney things. I got this at the Yacht Club Resort. There are a few brands that have their merchandise sold within Disney in Vineyard Vines which is where this top is from. It's one of them but they're not Disney things, they just have some kind of affiliation where they are sold and um, where they fit into a kind of resort theme or whatever. So the Yacht Club, which is my favourite resort, is obviously quite kind of nautical, New England sort of sail themed and they stock Vineyard Vines and Lily Pulitzer and brands like that. So I got this Vineyard Vines top, it's the sweater material, it's navy blue. I really, really like this. I know it's not to everybody's taste but like I think there's part of my heart that belongs in Maine or something like that. I have such a soft spot for sort of preppy New England American style and that is the back of it. So it's quite subtle, it looks like quite a lot but when you look at the overall top it's mainly just navy, vineyard vines here and then your detailing at the shoulders. Everything's quite like padded and thick, it's quite a kind of substantial feeling piece of clothing and this was $108. I thought that was super super cute. And another one of those brands that I really really like is Sperry who have a shop at Disney Springs. So I was definitely planning to buy some Sperry's anyway. At one point I had about five pairs in my hand. I made one purchase but I could definitely definitely have made more probably will next time. But in addition to the normal Sperry's, Sperry at Disney Springs also had the Sperry Vineyard Vines collaboration. So you can see where this is going. So from Sperry I got these shoes which are obviously the same design as is on the back of my top here. I just couldn't resist it. There's there's a part of my heart that just loves a preppy coordinated classic look. I just love these. I know they're not to everybody's taste. There's actually a bit in Sex and the City when Sarah Jess Clark is like yeah I wouldn't go on a date with a guy who's wearing like top siders or dog siders. And Charlotte's like, I think they're cute. And I'm like, yeah, Charlotte, they are cute. I'm very into a boat shoe. And I know, I know it's not popular, but I just love it. So yeah, these are my, my Sperry's that I got at Disney Springs and I just love them. Sorry, they were not my last things. This is my very last thing. It's a bracelet, it kind of fits in with what I've been talking about. So this is from, this is Disney Parks Own Merchandise. It was 9 95 and I got this. It's like a little anchor bracelet and I basically got it because 
I really wanted a Kale James Patrick bracelet and the boathouse is supposed to have stocked them but when I went there was only one left and it wasn't one I would have picked so I was also cutting it a little bit fine to order one at that point just I'd ordered one thing to the hotel a few days before we came and I didn't get it until well into her second week so I was a little bit nervous to risk trying that again but I did find this one at Disney. Uh, I really like it. It's like the anchor. It's a kind of lilac -y grey colour with a silver anchor. I am very happy with it. It fits the vibe. That is everything that I'm going to show you in this video so thank you so much for watching. I am going to be doing a Florida beauty haul and a Florida fashion haul. There's so much going on at Disney Springs that is not super Disney so if you are going to Disney and you're looking to see what you can get um, that's not Disney merchandise do come back for those videos because at Disney Springs you've got Mac and Sephora and Kiehl's in terms of fashion you've got like Uniqlo I think there's a Levi's store you've got Anthropology, Free People, Kate Spade obviously, Spenny Shop there's so much going on at Disney that's not just super Disney merchandise so do make sure to check out those videos if you're going for an idea of what you can get that's not Disney centric merchandise and that is everything that I'm going to show you in this video I will be doing my pin haul separately so make sure you tune in for that thank you so much for watching this one and I will speak to you in my next video bye